All right, guys, just four things get absolutely crazy today. Just want to mention we have got a full new range of apparel that's dropped on the site. Show the man some support. Jump on there, pelagicpursuit.com. Hats, jumpers, shirts, it's all there for you. So if you enjoy the clip, do me a solid and get on there. That's a, that's a pretty fair deal. Welcome back to Dogtown. Um, the boys have just done a, about 150 kilometers straight out to sea, three hours non-stop. We are out here. There is no help where we are right now. We got Nolsey on board. We got Barry up here. The boys are absolutely pumped. Like we're ready. I feel like I've done it enough now that we're ready. We're all running P8 to 10. We're all like game face on. We're just basically pulled up a kilometer short. I did a test drift just to see which way we're going to drift. I don't want to sound over the mark. I just basically want to get there drift over it first drifts where it's going to happen so stay tuned this could get absolutely gnarly but we have two days fishing the shelf that doesn't happen but we're going to do it so winter time hopefully a few less sharks there'll probably be 100 not 200 sharks so that's always good but look i don't know what we're going to encounter this is the probably the most ultimate part about fishing the shelf out here is there could be well there is doggies there is wahoo there's dolphin fish there's marlin there's you name it it's here and it's all big we just got to stop them you could probably drop there's a there's a lot a lot happening i'm just oh my god if that if it my drag screams i'm panicking hey Nolsey performed last time. I need that kind of confidence back in the boat, Nolsey. Oh, Barry, that's a nice technique, man. Fast off the bottom, get away from the trout, and then just into it. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a real big one. That was real. That's hot. Oh, oh, oh. That looks like a medium, eh? Run round, Nalsy. Hook up and panic, eh? <laughs> yeah, hook up, panic, double hand, panic. I'll give you the heads up how you're traveling. You just get him up. I'm looking, see a bit of color. He's got sharks on his ass for sure, whatever it is. I think he's been, oh, you're kidding. You're kidding dog <clears throat> I tried boys how quick did that get mauled oh very very up high come on oh head shakes come on I don't think it's far. Come on. He's there, I could colour. 
Come on, Barry. Got color? Got color, he's right here. Oh. Big Marcus there, but he's safe. Go on, Barry. Oh, no, he's hooked up. Yeah. Barry, get him in the boat, Barry. Get on the back. Nolsey's got you. Leader. Hang on. Take Leader. <laughs> yes, yeah, dog in the boat. The boys. <laughs> yeah, bro. All right. Third time lucky here. Barry. Dog one on board. Dog one on board. The boys. Not bad. The boys are puffing, but that is a very good sign. Very good sign. We know they're there. We know there's monsters down there. It's just stopping them and it's just pulling them away from these sharks. So I'll we'll keep going. Oh, stop it. Hydration. Most important part about chasing doggies is hydration. Rewarding. <laughs> <laughs> Manifesting. Hook up. Matt going as hard as he can. Saw groinal. Popping it. Worth it. Come up. Dog. Scream. Do it. Anyway, oh, oh, Matthew. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bit of color. Sharks are on him, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're chasing him. He's still good. Oh, can you get him get in? in? Get him in, get him in, get him in, get him in. Yes! <laughs> the boys! Well done, bros. They all were just like, like I thought they had him, but he just put on the burners and came up. This is why we do it. <laughs> yes! There it is, guys. Woo! That is PB Dog for me. They wanted him so bad, but I'm burning, hey. BKK, 8070, up the front. Oh, that's the best feeling in the whole world right there. Right, uh, just... I'm giving the boys some fast inspiration here. Come, Barry. Barry, got him? Yeah. That's a good one, Barry. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, Nolsey, doubles! Oh, I'm here. Tell Nolsey, you've been here before, mate. You've been here before. Well, that's a good one. Just do full circles like that. Even and just keep Nolsey on this left hand side, you give it a couple of revs, even. Oh my, spool grab! Spool grab!
Be coming up. Yeah, race over to him. Hard left now. That was a solid effort, bro. That was a solid effort there by the Knolls. Wow. They don't come easy, hey. You don't hear the boys yelling for no reason. When it happens, it happens. That was ridiculous. Oh, darling. That sounded stupid. <clears throat> Good luck, boys. Oh, oh no. Oh, one no. Oh, oh my Barry. god. Going? Barry? Oh my god. Oh, oh I just got bashed. Yell at him, Barry! Get him up! He's here, he's silver! He's silver! It's a, is that it? Oh, it's a Get him up! Get him up, Barry! Bring him to me! Get him in the boat, Barry! Yes! No! No! Shame my boat! I'd ask you how you honestly feel, but <laughs> feel like I'd have to beat the whole lot out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good. Oh, good. man. Oh, what shaking, man. The boys are kicking goals today. Absolutely kicking goals. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, yeah. Minky were. The Barry was telling me last night how he was struggling to sleep. Big struggle street because all he wanted was a doggy. The dream was real to get a doggy. The boys came out here with one thing in mind and that's to chase dogs. It's hectic, eh? There's no feeling like it in the world dropping onto a pinnacle knowing that it's just going to be absolutely chaos. You know, there's a lot of guys out there who unfortunately aren't going to be able to experience this kind of stuff, but, you know, hopefully watching what we're doing and feeling the excitement, it's, it's incredible. It's absolutely wild, so. Stoked for you, bro. Absolutely stoked. Thanks, man. Oh, I've got to be close. I am down. Damn it. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh darling. <laughs> Sizzle. Oh, no. Barry. Oh. That was good. I don't think he got me on the bottom <laughs> there. Let's see. Shark just came and hit him in the head. It's definitely a dog. It's so wild that like they can do that. Right, so we've just been cruising from one dog spot to another and come over a tiny, tiny little green lump. We're in 70 meters of water. And uh, you know, this is basically the land of giants out here. So just to give the fellas a break, we're gonna do a couple of slow pitch, um, just, just sink down like 150, 200 gram jigs and just hit the bottom for a little bit, see if we can find something. Every now and again, you know, you got green jobbies, you got big reds, uh, trouties, there's everything down here. And I think just this little break for us and from the sharks will be good. A little bit of a rejuvenate, back into it. The boys are out here, they mean business. So um, yeah, we'll just, Give it a break for half an hour, slow pitch this deep stuff, and then we're back. Oh, jeez. Hey, that was some aggression. Oh, 
<laughs> what? What happened there, Barry? Folded. You never know what it could be, man. It's on a big dog, too. Was it down the bottom? Be sick if it was a big trout. Might be one, big dino. Go on, feel the burn, the last bit. This is when they'll get him. I got colour. Oh, big trouty in the budu. Big trouty. That's sick. Barry. Tell us how you feel, Barry. <laughs> Amazing. I reckon it's like Tyson once said. <laughs> I prompt my back. <laughs> my back is broken. Spinal. <laughs> That's a giant. PB trout? Yeah, sure. Get a measure on him quickly. Measure. Had to be close to 90. Oh, oh yeah, just short. 88. Or 90. Uh, 85? 85, 86. With the sounder. Is that bait? That's a, like a full legit bait ball, if it is. Oh, that was a really good hookup. <laughs> That's what I didn't need on my back. <laughs> my back. Like, there's nothing wrong with him either. What's the fuck is on the jig? That's like. I'll get this fish up, but that's an example of how hard we're actually fighting these fish. Like it's a pretty big GT. I just dominated him. To see what some of those doggies are doing, it shows their true power. Like, okay, come on, cow. Big sharks down there now. That's nice work, man. <laughs> Like tuna tail kicks, man. Now he's into him. Great job, Halsey. <laughs> a good looking jobby, too. He is. Halsey. I'm the doggy year. How much string did he pull? Nothing. Not a click, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he was straight up. He just went, what the hell just happened? You sending him? Yeah. Oh. 
He saw his opportunity there. <sighs> Chaotic scenes here. Chaotic scenes. Holy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Chaotic scenes, Barry. <laughs> we going Treyway right now? I'm coming around here. Get him, Nolsey. Get him, Nolsey. Come on, son. Oh, he's going. Come on. You've got him. You got him. Oh, no. No, you got him. I'm looking. I'm looking. Nothing's on. Oh, there's one on him. There's one coming. 100% dog. It's a dog. I'm put oh, there's a big dog after him. Come on, Ozzy. Oh, man. I'm down there. No. No, I'm not. I'm hooked up. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Oh, shit. You got him? I'm hooked up. I'm hooked up as well. We're going, We're going triples. <laughs> Go! Yes! Oh, <laughs> Oh, Barry, I got shot! Yes! Yes! Got him! Well done. Oh, man, I got rattled. I turned around. You were in the gunnel, dude. You were just in the gunnel, like... I couldn't do anything to have him. Yes! He's done it. The stoke was very real then. Very, very real. This is definitely, definitely the best session the boys have ever had chasing dogs. That's three really good ones. One each. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Oh, hang on, say. It's just the biggest relief. It's this feeling of like, I stopped him, I beat the sharks, and everything just, the stars aligned and the fish came in the boat. I think it might be beer o'clock for Nolsey. I reckon we all have to. Beers get the bites, man. Let's go three round of beers. And then we'll do one more. If we hook up again, we'll do another one. <laughs> <laughs> and if we don't hook up, there's a big pinnacle not far from here that we can go cast at. Try and get a topwater doggy, wahoo, dolphin fish. Uh, we'll change it up a bit because... That's mission complete. The scary part is we're coming back out here tomorrow. We're only going to be sleeping not far off here. So we've actually got to, uh, we've got to try and keep some jigs. Like I've only got a handful left. So, <laughs> 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 Whew. all right, round two, baby. Just relief. <clears throat> Ultimate relief. It's like, look down, silver dog. Brown bastard chasing him, comes up, grab leader, pull it in, ultimate feeling. So We're going for it here, manifesting again. <sighs> I'd say look at the sound of a berry, I'll probably swear. Oh, I was hooked up. Just that. He ate it on the drop. Perry's bombing. Is it hectic? Oh, we're on the actual pinnacle here. <clears throat> Get it off the bottom. No, no. Get it. Oh. What happened there? I got me jig. Check if I still got a hook. Still got a hook. Everything's fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. This is it, Barry. Last one. Give him hell. Absolute hell. I'll try and hook up and see if I can just get a distraction on you.
Oh, yep. Oh, I did have. To, yep. Oh, no. <laughs> Mine's little. They're on him already, man. Oh yeah, go back down. Get distracted. Come Barry. Down Barry. Into him Barry, you've got to, you have to just into him. Hand on that handle, that's it. Just keep pumping. Keep pumping. Come on son, they're on him. I can see they're down there. Go Barry, go. I've got him. Oh. Oh. They've bitten him on the head oh. and the tail. That's like they actually killed him. What a day, man. <laughs> oh, that's it for the boys. You know, it's hectic, it's like. That's still an incredible fish. They've actually taken his tail off. He got lucky and just brought him straight through the sharks. But they're getting a bit fired up again, so we're gonna bail. The boys have killed it, absolutely killed it. What's that, four dogs or five? Five in the esky? One, I think. You got two? Yeah. One, another one. Absolute. Epic, epic session. Five dogs, it's the best we've got, biggest we've got. Um, <laughs> Barry's looking at the sounder, wanting to, wanting to drop again, but I feel like we've just got to save some jigs for tomorrow. Let's go and cast one of these things up and see what happens. What? Big dog too. Sheesh! Barry! Come on, make it a red. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. I can't stop him. I stopped him. I don't think that's a Chinaman. I don't think that's a Chinaman. <laughs> Have I got you? I got your line, bro. Yeah, you got me. We're gonna have to come back under here, under the motors. Yeah. And then meet up, meet up, put lines together. Right together, lift up, lift up. See that? Yep, there you go. Uh, good, I'm on. Yeah, son. <laughs> you go under me, you go under me. And see, look at her, Rassy. We both got. No, nah, that's oh. that's my Rassy. Uh, Nolsey, you bending, Barry? What do you got? One yeah, oh, you got a spano. Well. <laughs> no, you you get your bending. I'll leave this guy in the water to survive or revive a bit. <laughs> what are you doing with a span? I don't know. But this <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, Nolsey? Uh, He's yeah. coming up. Uh, Scrotum. That's not a bad wrasse. It's like my first wrasse on a jig. 
Yeah, perfect release. Send him. Beautiful. Nice. All right. Rascai. Nolsey will sort you out, mate. Hey, He's a good looking Rassy. Stop it. That is the last thing I expected to catch. That's an absolutely beautiful Maori wrasse. It's a good size fish too. Like, nothing wrong with that thing. I don't know how he didn't reef me. I did, uh, I was hurting for a while there, but that's a great, great fish on the jig. Oh, blubbery. Is that? Basically done all the jigging we could possibly do for one day. I've got the fellas up the front with me, got the zoom camera. We're in 40 meters of water and we're casting onto a deep pressure edge. Um, Barry's done the smart thing. He's put singles on his top water lure because we're after Spano airstrikes here. I want to try and get some of the most incredible slow-mo footage possible. You know, winter time, Spanish, that's our thing. We're way out wide, it has to happen. It's just, it has to happen. So. I've set up the boys, they're going to be casting in front of me. I'm just going to be filming each strike, or each cast, really. Hopefully they do get the strikes. Um, but between the two stick baits working this deep edge, we'll just bring them up, we'll bring them up. And if we find a patch, we'll mark them. We'll kind of hit them, and then come back to them, hit them again. But um, it's a scary thing is you're still, you know, we're, we're out in the middle of nowhere here. There's 100% there's going to be doggies, all kinds of bits and pieces. So. As much as we want the Spano airstrikes to see a topwater dog eat, imagine that to top it off. That'd be just ridiculous. Right, oh, let's go to work here. We are completely done here. That was honestly one of the best days I've ever had out wide. I mean, we did encounter sharks, but to land five good doggies like that, come back in on the cruise in to, to basically our anchorage, we had a bit of a jig, wrasse. Oh, just things are dying all around us. But if, uh, if you've made it this far, do me a big favor, guys. Jump on there, give me a subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100K. It's gonna happen soon, so. 
help a man out. But, um, oh, it's, oh yeah, he's fully there. So it's our first time anchoring in this area and we've done something a little bit different. I've actually come into about three meters of water. So I've got 10 meters of chain. I've dropped the chain inside a sandy spot and hopefully you'll be able to see that. But I've actually dropped the chain inside this bit of sand here and laid it back. Oh, you got him. Oh my God. Oh my God. Nutty. <laughs> that went through your legs? Yeah, the other side of the boat. Far out. And um, I've tied the chains just there, the end of the chain, and I've tied it straight off because kind of in a bit of a bommy field here. I've had a good look around, there's no sand whatsoever, not big enough to lay out the actual chain. So we've tied off the chain about a metre underneath the boat itself. That way, slack tide or we drift or we do anything um the the rope's not going to hook onto a bommy so it's a bit bit of a different setup you know it goes against all the rules of anchoring where they say it's oh get him oh get him over here it goes against all the rules but in this scenario it's going to work for us that way also worst case scenario we do oh you got him Worst case scenario, we do have rope on the boat that we can still cut it off. So, a bit of a thought process behind this one, but we should be safe um, and just hopefully it doesn't blow tonight. But I'm going to have a few beers, I reckon. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs>